So as you can see, the settings are on the left hand side and once you run the report, the data appears on the right and can be exported. The kind of report that we're looking at, the type of report is a count report. The other option is a difference report. Right now we'll focus on the count report and we're selecting from our list of members. We could have chosen memberships and you may have um, you know, reports for both, but for now we're looking at members. Then we have filters. So out of all of your um, membership data, there are three filters that you can use. The first one is membership type. So I've opted to have a look at three memberships here in the list. With this list, if I hold the control key down, I can add additional examples or remove them by clicking on the on the X sign. You can also select all membership types if you wish. The next filter option is what status do you want to search on? So for this report I only want to look at active statuses but again by holding my control key down I can select additional statuses if I choose to. So I'll, get, I'll just get rid of these because I only want my um, active status to be present. And then states. So again, we can choose more than one state if we want to and uh, we could have all of them on display if desired. The next question we're asked is how do we want to view the results? So the choices are numbers of members or a list of names. I'm going with numbers of members for this example. And how do we want to group the data? By membership type? pricing option, status or state. I'm choosing membership type and you can see that the membership types are listed across the top there. Okay and finally um, frequency and date range. So we're looking at a frequency of giving me numbers monthly for the last 12 months. Other options could have been calendar year, financial year, week or day for frequency and date range well, as you can see, quite a range to choose from there. So what I've chosen is each date, um, one date per month for the last 12 months. Now if I scroll down a little, I'll click Run and we'll have a look at that data. So every time you run the report, you're getting fresh results as of the data in your database today, regardless of when you saved the report. So here's our list of dates and we can see how many members I have for my first membership type versus my second and what my total membership type listing is. So that's the first report there.